tattoos are instant gratification and uh, designing a machine and developing it to perfection or the attempt of perfection is is like running a marathon or climbing a mountain that you have to prepare for and and it's definitely I definitely am expressing myself creatively with my machine building but I can rapidly express a little bit of my artistic sense in doing a tattoo I always want to do something new and different all the time with everything I do, whether it's music or designing machines or, or doing tattoos. But then that part's easy when the part I like about tattooing is I do it that day, they leave, they're happy, and it's, it's just this instant gratification. And uh, the process of making a tattoo machine at the level that I'm trying to do and the level that I'm expected to do is, it's a process. I've been tattooing 18 years now, and um, part of what keeps me excited about doing tattoos is actually getting to use, getting to use my machines. The whole process of setting up and being automated and kind of running all this stuff single-handedly. So right now I'm just loading up material to cut armature bars for the V7. Sidewinder. Here's all the uh, all the slugs of all the armature bars I've made over the last couple of years. <laughs> Comes and goes in waves sometimes of high activity. Assembling these 46er bars, and I mean it starts just as simple as getting the set screws in. You know, I like to do 10 or so, at least 10 at a time. I'll do sets of 10, so maybe. For the tray I've got that I'm gonna build today, it's 15 black nickel bars and 10 brass bars. So I'll get all those laid out, match them up to the frames. And this is just kind of starting the process of, of what the builds are for the day. So there's this dexterity that comes along with doing enough of them to try to figure out the most effective process. And once you put a few thousand together, you can get a good idea. Before I was actually making machines, seriously, I was always making tattoo machines. I was a machinist and a welder before I was a tattooer. And I had to kind of put that thing on hold uh, to focus on tattooing because I just needed to learn how to do a good tattoo and not trying to like make a, a good tattoo machine when I couldn't even do a good tattoo. But I was about five years into tattooing and I knew how to tattoo at that point. I started to know what's my fault, what's the machine's fault, and could the machine pick up some of the slack? Like, could could I do a better tattoo if the machine hit this way or did this differently? Um, and the real boiling point was I was trying to find that unicorn tattoo machine on a monthly basis, sometimes a bi-weekly basis. I get something, so, oh, you gotta get this, it is so good, and I get it, and then, and then I'd have to, respring the thing and take it all apart and the coils they'd be kind of crooked and the bar was hitting it wonky and then it would just buzz weird and, and not hit right and so I would still get a new machine and spend two weeks respringing it and trying to tune it up and get it right. There's like small little victories in gra grabbing a handful of something and then you count it out and you grab the exact right amount your first shot like I'm gonna grab these screws for my stroke wheels and if I just happen to grab the right amount it's like a little you give yourself that little fist bump that's 30 see I needed 30 there's 30 it's my fist bump small win it's like a it's like a happy day when you do that <laughs> it, it, it means things are off to a good start <laughs> When Dan first started building machines, uh, I was still working, I was a teacher. He started in the garage in our house, just doing, doing machines and working away and slowly it got bigger and you know there was more to do, um, but he really just, he couldn't do it on his own. So uh, I stopped teaching and um, started helping Dan. But it's been really interesting to see him from the very beginning, you know, even to now, this whole progression of how it's gone. From the very beginning, he just really cared about getting everything right. He wanted it to work really good. 
that was his main thing. He just wanted it to work good and he wanted it to be cool. And that's, I think, been part of his success is that he's just like, he doesn't care so much about all the other stuff. He cares about, is it cool? Does it work? Do I like using it? Thomas is a very positive person, and so I like having him around. You know, because sometimes I, I could get just just wound up into a ball and everything, but I want to come up with this board game about yeah. Thomas, like like the mind the, through the eyes of Thomas. And so basically, this board game would be um, um, all these shitty things happen, <laughs> and you have to come up with the most positive outlook on the situation. Yeah, we got it's a good balance. It's a good balance here. Nice eight, eighty. Regardless of what anybody says, eighty is in charge. What? 80 is in charge. <laughs> Everything <laughs> runs through 80. Yeah, so Dan, don't, don't forget do it. Do not, yeah, don't get it twisted. Not happy wife, happy life. <laughs> I hold myself to these, a trifecta of beauty, performance, and innovation where I want it, it has to be beautiful. And it has to perform well. I mean, maybe most, most of all, it has to perform. And then I figure that out but then it has to be beautiful. I want it to be something that I want to look at and I enjoy looking at it. Um, and then it has to be innovative. And if it's not innovative, um, you know, it's, it's not fun for me. I am taking every machine and then loading it with a tube and needle so that's how it's gonna run when somebody gets it. And then I'm just checking it. Um, I just make sure it runs correctly and it hits right. You know, I test it on my thumb there. I got a little black mark. You know, it's, it's, it's the beginning of the week, so I just started, so my, my thumb isn't that dark right now, but I got a permanent little callus right there. But that just allows me to make sure that, well, A, make sure that all the screws are tight, make sure everything sounds the way it should and feels the way it should, and making sure I'm running them with a tube and needle because sometimes they don't, they don't run the same if there's not a tube and needle in there. So making sure that I'm doing that, I know that when the customer gets it, if they set it up right, it's gonna run right. One thing that separates what I do compared to other companies that maybe do a similar thing of making tattoo machines is um, I am a competent machinist. I'm the guy that is engineering these machines I'm also the guy that uses them. I didn't give up tattooing and start making machines. I started making machines so I could enjoy tattooing even more. And one of the things is because I'm programming the parts, I'm designing them, I'm manufacturing them myself, I'm using them, I'm able to go and try something out, go to the tattoo shop, do a tattoo, come back, redesign something, change a couple of things, make that part, try it again, and over and over and over again. And I can keep trying these little things to, to really hone in on something exactly. I enjoy that I'm able to do what I do and, you know, keep it, keep it locally. You know, I do have other parts that are made, like some screws and stuff, but they're made, they're made right down the road at my friend's machine shop. I, I use uh, some other people locally for my electroplating and um, anodizing and stuff. And, and it's nice, uh, I could kind of, I can, you know, that's supporting the local economy. And I can do these things and I can feel that this is something that's still mine. It's not, it doesn't just have my name on it. This is, this is something that is a, is a one cohesive thing. And, um, I've always wanted to have my own little machine shop. I always wanted to do tattoos. Um, I still love tattooing. I still love, I still love manufacturing, making parts, designing things. And I feel like I'm contributing to a, a community of people who value what I do. And, and you know, that really keeps me going. And I like that I'm creating something for something that I'm interested in. And um, that, that gives me a lot of fulfillment in my life.